What's up YouTube and welcome to a live draw along with me. Now today the stream is going to be the tutorial for today. So if you're following along, this may look a little bit different to a normal tutorial, but this was taken from a live stream that I do every Wednesday on my channel. So feel free to come and say hello. There's a link in the description down below for the palette. There's also the canvas size as well. So once you've grabbed all of that, you can go ahead and grab your canvas and get ready to go. So your first thing you'll spot is if we go up to our canvas and let's go to our palette and set that as the default. Once we're in here, we have the rainbow heart design collection. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and let's switch the camera around. We're going to go ahead and set our background color. First of all, of our canvas, we're going to go ahead and set that to black. So we're just going to tap on our background and double tap at the bottom of the disc to select black and then hit done. Now on this empty layer here, we're going to go to our colors and we're going to make sure it's set to white. So double tap in the top left hand corner of your colors. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go to your brush library. You're going to want to go to calligraphy and you're going to want to use the monoline brush. Now we need to set the monoline brush to a size that we can see nice and easily. And I think let's just set that a little bit bigger than that, roughly around about 30%. Let's actually drop that. Let's drop that down a smidge. We'll go down to 27% for that one. Now, the first thing we need to go ahead and do is draw in a circle because we need to create the heart. We need to create two circles and then two symmetrical lines to make the heart design. So to do that, of course, we're just going to draw in a circle and pop your finger on the screen once you've drawn a perfect circle until you get something for scale roughly around about this sort of size. What we're then going to do is, is go to our layers and swipe the layer to the left and duplicate it. Once you've done that, then grab your cursor and just move this circle across. Now, if I zoom in for you, we're just going to move this across and make sure snapping is turned on here in the bottom corner. And you're just going to want to make sure that your circles there are overlapping perfectly in the center. And then you have the top area of your heart and we can tap on our cursor when we're done. What we're then going to do is just go up to our layers and let's pinch those two layers together. So just pinch the two layers and it will merge them onto one. What we're then going to do is, is zoom out, then going to grab our cursor and then with snapping still turned on, we're just going to pop that on the orange line in the center of your canvas. That will make sure that the circles are nicely centered and we can then crack on from there. So once you've done that and dropped them on the center line, tap on your cursor when you're done. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the V shape underneath. Now to save ourselves some time, we're going to go up to our adjustments or actions. Then going to go to canvas and we're going to turn on a drawing guide. You then need to edit your drawing guide and choose the option of symmetry in the bottom right hand side here. And then just change the line in the center by using the color slider so you can see it on the screen and you'll get a line that runs down the middle. Now, if you've not used this tool before, anything I now draw on one side is reflected perfectly on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on our canvas and this may take a couple of attempts, but we're going to drop a dot on the center line here. So drop your pen down and then draw a straight line out from there until it runs into the side of the circle like so. And that's exactly what we need to do. So drop it perfectly on the center line and then let that run in to the curve so that it naturally just runs all the way around towards the top. Now, the next step is to get rid of all the excess that was added in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our brush, well, our eraser. Let's tap on our eraser and let's go to calligraphy and we're going to use the monoline brush. Now it doesn't really matter what your brush size is. All we need to do is get rid of the excess that runs here and also give a nice rounded point in there, but we don't want to affect these lines that run up here. So what we're going to do is if we erase into here, you'll notice it's also erasing on the one side. So we only need to do the one side at a time. So I can come through here. We can run up into the middle just until we get to roughly here. And then let's just round off this point here. So to make it nice and rounded, let's even reduce our brush size down. So maybe about 25% at this point. It doesn't really matter what your brush size is as long as you're in control of it. So let's maybe just go a little bit higher than that. Perfect. So you can see there how it nicely runs in and naturally then bounces straight back out onto the other side. What we're then going to do is, is just erase the rest of this. So I'm just going to increase my brush size again. Again, the brush size doesn't necessarily matter. We're just going to erase this line all the way around. until we get to the point where it now nicely runs in. 
Now you might need to take a couple of attempts at this, but I'm just going to continue drawing straight lines until we see that just run in. And you can even hold your pen down if you want and create a nice straight line once you think you've got the right angle. So for example, I'm going to drop my pen, say, let's drop it here and then draw a straight line and then just see if we can just continue to erase into here until these lines actually run into each other like so. So that when we zoom out and we take a look at our heart, we've now got rid of all the excess on the inside and we're left with just the outline. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer above, and then we're gonna tap on our heart outline. We're gonna tap on it and use the option of reference. So what's gonna happen now is every other layer is gonna look at this layer as a reference as to what to fill in. So what we're then gonna do is we're gonna to go to our colors we're going to go ahead and grab the first color, which is this red here in the top left of the palette. So just grab this red here, go back to your layers. And when we were on the heart layer and we turned on the reference on the heart, go back up to the layer above the empty layer and drag and drop the red into the outside area. It needs to be on a separate layer. Then go to your layer and drag that red outline underneath the white shape of the heart. Then go up to your adjustments, then go to Gaussian Blur and swipe from left to right. And then we're going to slowly start to bring in that glow. You can see that just start to come in on the outside edge here and it's all the way around. But in a minute, we're going to adjust the angle so that it fits within the angle that we want the heart to sit at. So something like this is good. And then tap on your adjustments when you're done. Now I'm going to do that again just so that you can see the percentage I went up to. So I'm going to swipe from left to right and we're going to go up to, I'm going to go up to about 30% there on the Gaussian Blur. Let's actually make that about sort of 33%, just a little bit more and then tap on your adjustments when you're done. So 33% Gaussian Blur there. Then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to our layers, and for a moment, we need to select the shape that's on the inside edge here, because we need to erase all this red excess from the outside edge. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our layers and create a new layer. And bearing in mind, we've still got the reference layer here of the heart, so we've created a new layer. And all we're going to use this for in a moment is just as a selection. So we're going to go to our colors. Let's just grab black for a moment. So let's just grab black, so double tap at the bottom of your disk and go back to your layer, making sure we're on the empty layer that we just created and drag black towards the outside edge. And that will give you an idea as to where we're already going with it. The black around the outside here nicely masks everything, but we want to make sure we make an actual selection and an actual cut from the actual layer here so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our layers again we're going to tap on this black layer here that we just filled in around the outside edge so tap on it and use the option of select what we're then what we've then done is we've selected this outside shape here what we want to then do is go to our layers go down to the red layer that's got the nice red blur and tap on it and use the option of clear now you'll see from your preview and if i actually get rid of this black layer here because we're done with that now we can swipe that to the left and delete it we're left with just the red on the inside and that's perfect we've now got everything we need now to proceed with the rest of the tutorial so again if you're following along live you can rewind at any stage there's links in the description down below to the palette as well as the canvas size so you can rewind at any time if you get stuck and also start the tutorial from the beginning so from this stage here we've got as i mentioned everything we need in order to proceed so what we're going to do is we're gonna go back up to the white outline layer of the heart. We first of all need to tap on this layer and turn off the reference. We then need to tap on this layer again and use the option of alpha lock because we need to go then to our colors. And then this second row of colors, the slightly lighter tones, these are the tones for the actual sort of bars themselves. So we're gonna grab this color here. So it's the second color in that first column and go back to your layers tap on the white outline heart, tap on it and use the option of fill. So you alpha lock it to stop you from spilling out anywhere else and just fill in the outline itself. And then from there, we can tap on the layer and I think we can leave the alpha lock for a minute, that's fine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on that top one and then we're also gonna swipe from left to right on the bottom one to select that too. Now we've selected both of them, we can now go up to our cursor and we can use the distort option here, the third option on this row. And we can just grab this node in the top left and bring the angle right down. So that's already gonna create quite a flat angle, but we want it to be a bit more upright 
little bit more so like this. So we're just going to tweak the angle until we're happy with it. So I'm going to bring this node in a little bit like this. And really that is the shape that you're going to want to try and mimic for today's design. So we've brought in this node here is in the correct place as it was at the beginning. And so is this one. It's just these two on the left hand side we've adjusted to so take a quick look at that and the angle and the that we've made our heart at. And from there, we can then crack on with the rest of it. So once you've done that step, you can then tap on your cursor when you're done. And now both layers have been adjusted at the exact same time. Now, the next step to create all the lots of levels of depth down is really simple. All we need to do is duplicate the layers and color them in with the next set of colors. So to do that, just go up to your layers. We can then go ahead and swipe on the outline layer at the very top, swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Grab the bottom one out of the two and let's drag that down underneath the glow of the heart. And then also tap on the red glow of the heart and swipe it to the left and duplicate it too. And grab the bottom one out of the two and drag it underneath the outline you just moved to the bottom. So now you've got two sets of the outline and the glow. Now this, these two glows, we now need to change the color of them. So we're going to tap on the third layer down, which is the second outline that you can't yet see. It's already alpha locked. So we're going to go back to our colors and just correct it to the orange tone. So grab the second tone in the palette. So it's the second color in that second row. Go back to your layer, tap on the layer and use the option of fill. Then go down to the red glow, the second red glow. Tap on the layer and alpha lock it. Then also go back to your colors and switch it to orange, so the bright orange at the top. So the second column, first color, and go back to your layers. Tap on the layer here for the glow and fill it. So now your colors will slightly adjust. And then all we need to do is swipe on both layers. So we've got the glow for the orange and I've got the glow for the outline. I'm going to swipe them to the right Then grab your cursor, grab the uniform option. And all we need to do is now scale this down like so. So just scale that down like this and then move that in a little bit. Now, first of all, we just want to make sure that say this center point here is just starting to sort of run into each other. What I mean by that is if I zoom in, ignore this line here for a moment, we just want the point of the heart to pretty much touch this line here. So where this arc comes across, this will then nicely link up. So a little bit something like that. I can maybe tap a couple of times just to really make sure the tip of the heart at the top there from the red area runs into the edge of the orange one. So a little bit something like this. And then we can tap on our cursor when we're done. Now, of course, we've got a little bit of spillage around the outside for a second. And to deal with that, the simple option is we go up to our layers and we just need to create, as I always call them, a cookie cutter shape. So we're going to go right to the top again of our layers. This top layer here is the red glow around the outside. And just like we did before with the reference tool, we're going to tap on the top layer. We're going to go to the option of reference again. We're then going to create a new layer that's going to sit right at the top. Then go to your colors, double tap at the bottom of the disk to select black, and then drag the black into the outside edge. And immediately you've seen that now disappear because now when we take a look at our layers, the top layer here is our cookie cutter shape. And then we've got the outlines underneath. And that's now going to keep everything nice and contained on the inside. What we're then going to do is go to our layers once more and continue the process all the way down. So let's just go back to the second layer that's got the reference on it. You'll see it with the little reference label here. Tap on the layer and turn off the reference and then go down to your bottom two layers, the outline for the orange and the glow for the orange. And let's repeat the same steps. So we go to the outline and we swipe it to the left and duplicate it. We can drag one right to the bottom. While this is already alpha locked, we can go up to our colors. Let's grab the light yellow tone because the lighter tones are again the outlines. Grab the lighter yellow tone, go back to your layers, tap on the layer and use the option of fill. Then we're going to go to the orange glow, swipe that to the left and duplicate it and drag that towards the bottom. It's still alpha locked, so we can go straight up to our colors. We can grab the third color on that top row, the yellow, and go back to your layers. 
tap on the layer and use the option of fill. And now you've got your yellow tones. And again, we repeat the same process. We swipe on both of the yellow layers. So the yellow outline and the glow. So swipe from left to right, then grab your cursor, use the uniform option still. And pretty much this top node here in the top left is the one that's gonna be used frequently. So we're gonna drag that down in size. And then again, same rules apply. We're just gonna try and get this sort of gap here so that the point of the previous heart is just running into that edge. It's just gonna make things look nice and tidy later on in the design. So that's all we need to do for that one. Tap on your cursor when you're done. And we're already two of the hearts in. So we're just gonna to continue to make our way down towards the bottom. And then we're gonna add in a nice glow around the outside. So we're gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna go ahead and go down to the yellow two layers that we were just working on. We swipe the outline to the left and duplicate it. Grab that outline and drag it down to the bottom. Then go up to your colors. Grab the fourth color on that middle row, so the green, the light pale green here. Then go back to your layer, tap on the layer and use the option of fill. Then again, we go to the yellow glow this time. We swipe that layer to the left and duplicate it and drag that down to the bottom underneath the green outline. And then go back to your colors. Grab the green color on the top row then go back to your layers again, tap on the glow and use the option of fill. Then you can go ahead and select on both the green layers. So we're going to swipe on the outline from left to right and we've already got the glow selected. Then go to your cursor, grab the node in the top left and just drag that down in size. And pretty much you want to kind of keep your gaps quite similar to one another as you make your way down. So something like that looks pretty good. And now we're already making our way through the colors. Same rules apply every time that we're just trying to make sure that this note point here of the previous heart just touches onto that line there. And we're already creating that awesome glow. Look how cool that's looking. What we're then gonna do is go to our layers and repeat. We've got two more to do. So we're gonna go to the green outline layer. So turn it on and off just to be sure. Swipe the layer to the left and duplicate it. Drag it down to the bottom. While we've got this one selected, go up to your colors and grab the blue lighter tone. So the fifth color on that middle row and go back to your layers. Tap on that layer that we were just selected and tap on the option of fill. Then go ahead and go to the green glow that's above it and swipe that layer to the left and duplicate it. So it's quite a repeating process. Grab the green glow and drag it down to the bottom and change its color to blue. So just go back up to your colors, go to the bright blue on the top row so the fifth color on that top row, go back to your layers, tap on the layer and use the option of fill. And then select both layers again. So then swipe from left to right on your blue outline, grab your cursor and with the uniform option, let's just drag this down in scale. And then just again, make sure the same rules apply. So that, that little bit of the heart is just touching onto there. So just drag that down like so. And then we've got one more to do. So we're gonna repeat the same steps one more time. Let's go back up to our layers. Let's go to the blue outline layer and swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Then drag that layer down to the bottom and go back up to your colors. Grab the bottom color out the purple column. So it's the final color, this one here. Then go back to your layer. Tap on this outline layer and use the option of fill. Then go down or we'll then go back up, should I say, to the blue glow. Swipe that layer to the left and duplicate it. And then drag that blue layer glow all the way to the bottom. And just like before, go back up to your colors and grab the bright purple, the furthest color on that top right row. And then let's go back to our layers. Tap on the layer we just had selected and use the option of fill. And then again, select the purple outline by swiping from left to right on that outline and then use the option of your cursor and just uniform options, scale that down in size and then just making sure the same rules apply as we're making our way down. And then tap on your cursor when you're done and then you'll have created this cascade effect on the inside of the heart. How cool does that look? Now there's a couple of things you can tweak afterwards if you want to. One thing I would recommend is making your gaps progressively get smaller. So towards the bottom, you could make your gaps get a little bit smaller and therefore creating more perspective. This still looks pretty good as it is, but you make the gaps at the 
top bigger and then they get smaller towards the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to add in some extra little shadows in here that are just really going to help this look a lot more smart and add some more definition to the actual inside of the heart. And all we need to do for this is let's go back up to our layers. We're going to go ahead and go right to the top and underneath our red outline. So underneath this layer here. So we've got the cookie cutter shape at the top. We've then got the outline and then we've got the red glow. We're going to create a new layer by tapping on the red glow and create a new layer. We're then going to go to our colors and we're going to double tap at the bottom of the disc to select black. We're then going to go back to our layers. Let's change this layer effect from normal and we're going to change it to overlay and go back to your brush and let's switch it out now to the airbrushing and the soft brush. Now this does need to be pretty small in terms of the adjustment you're going to make. All we're going to do is this little part of the inside here of the heart, we're just going to start to paint on some dark tone here, which is just going to add a little bit of a shadow in here. And then we're also going to add a little bit of a shadow down in here. And again, it will just add more depth and break up the highlights a little bit more. So what we're going to do is, is my brush size, let's make it about 5%. In this area, we're just going to paint down very lightly and just continue to blend that out to the right hand side. And you can already see we just added a little shadow there on the inside that already adds so much more depth to the design. What we're then going to do is just go down to the bottom down here and then just start to paint over very lightly and you will darken it up eventually into this area here. So just darken it up into this corner. So you can see I made a line that pretty much runs all the way down from that top left all the way down into here how cool that looks so i'm watching that back now and we can see how much that shadow comes through now the final step is to actually create a bit of a glow around the outside now to do this what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our layers well we're actually going to go ahead first of all and we're going to swipe with three fingers down on the screen so swipe with three fingers down and you'll get this copy and paste menu now we're interested here in the copy all now copy on its own would have just copied the individual layer that you had selected but if you use the option of copy all, it's copied the entire canvas. What we're then gonna do is just go back up to our layers. And while it's on our clipboard, we're gonna go right to the top. We're then gonna click away and we're gonna swipe down with three fingers again. And we're gonna use the option of paste. Now you won't see any visual change, but when we take a look at our layers, we've got the inserted image here right on the top. Now for a moment, what we need to do is we need to clip this layer to the layer below it, which is the cookie cutter shape. Again, there's no visual change, but what we've got is we've got this big black outline around the outside that's containing all those glows on the inside. And then we've clipped a design to it that has a lot of content in the middle, but you can't see that middle content. It's a little bit of a trick there to work out with your mind. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our adjustments. We're gonna go to perspective blur, and then we get this little dot, which changes the angle of where we blur from. And I believe we just need to drop it round about here, just off to the right hand side there. And if you swipe from left to right, boom, see that straight away? The glow on the outside edge there is starting to just proceed and just push outwards from the outside. So once you've done that once, swipe all the way to the right hand side and you'll get 100% perspective blur. Now you may be able to adjust this angle a little bit potentially, but I'm pretty happy with it sitting just here, just on that edge. Then you can go ahead and tap on your adjustments and we're going to repeat that step a couple of times until we get a much bigger glow from this. So go back to your adjustments, go to perspective blur and just drag that dot over here onto the side and swipe from left to right again. And you're just going to slowly continue to push and push and push that glow outwards on the side there. So we're already starting to get these beams start to form off of the white areas or the lighter tones on the on the lines there and then tap on your adjustments when you're done. And I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to say one more time. So we're going to go back to our adjustments. We're going to go to perspective blur once more and drag this dot to the side here and then swipe from left to right, pushing those beams out a little bit more. And then tap on your adjustments when you're done. As one extra step we need to do here, just to emphasize the color a little bit more, we're going to go to our adjustments, our layers, should I say. We're going to swipe this layer here that we've just been blurring to the left and duplicate it. And then let's tap on the layer effect by tapping on the N and just scroll down 
and we want to change this to color dodge this will really punch out the colors so if i move this across to the side here if i turn this on and off you can see the colors start to just pop in and out you can see it sort of flashing so i've turned on color dodge and then when we go ahead and let's go back to our actions let's turn off our drawing guide because we don't need that on the screen anymore i'm going to zoom in for youtube and i'm going to go full screen with four fingers and we're finished with today's design so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you followed along with the live stream version of these tutorials as i mentioned we do these live streams every wednesday so if you want to come and hang out on my youtube channel that's where i'll be and you can come and join in with the chat over there if you enjoyed this tutorial please drop a like down below and as always be sure to share your designs with me over on instagram there's a link to all my socials they'll all be in the description down below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace